Yes, they are my neighbors. Um, I really don't know anything. Um, they keep to themselves. You know, they're not. I see their son once in a while outside, but he, he's not out there like that. He stays in the house. He six. He's six. Yes, I don't. I just know that um, he's been missing for two days. Okay. So that's all. Um, you know, he came over probably twice uh -huh. since they moved in, and that was oh. it. Oh. I didn't hear anything. I really didn't. Just seem normal. Maybe they found something. I don't know. I was surprised. No, um, I didn't see no. I know the police came last night, but I didn't see if they arrested anyone. Yeah, grandparents come and go a lot. I mean, guests come and go probably like once in a while, but no, they don't really have people over like that. No, yeah, they keep no no problems. They keep to themselves. We don't talk to them much, so you know, probably once in a while the the boy's dad would you know, ask if his son can come over and play with my kids, but that was only twice. I don't think the little boy goes to school. I've never, yeah, I, I don't know. I just, you know, I, I, like I said, he's never outside like that. You know, I never see him playing in the front yard. He had a little tantrum or something, and that uh, when they tried to discipline him, he took off running. Um, that she went after him, and then that after she went after him, she got him and she called the police because that he was get, really getting out of hand. He was acting really that he was hearing voices and things. That they took him to a mental institution, but um, they didn't tell me. My other kids didn't want to let me know what was going on because half of them didn't know. But when they did find out and somebody did confess and tell me, I called them up and I told them, okay, then I want where he's at, you know, because none of my kids are going to be in no mental hospital. And um, they were like, oh, mom, forget it, you know, not so much the mother, but the other twin. And uh, which is Jennifer, and she told me, Mom, there's nothing that I can do. You know, and then there was just something, something was just not right. Um, the, uh, my daughter called and told them that they wanted to see Duke, you know, in, in Snapchat or, you know, uh, FaceTiming. They, they, oh, he's asleep, he's asleep. But I seen him on the 14th. He was here, I seen him, he was fine. I took him to go get candy, everything was good. Um, all the thing is that his mom just told me that he was hearing voices, but he has autistic, you know, he's autistic. So that was nothing new to me. And then he, um, after that, uh, they kept saying that he was in a mental hospital, he was in a mental hospital, but I called and I kept telling him where. Since they didn't answer me, I called the police and I told them if they can do a welfare check to come over here and see if they see my grandson. Um, the officer Hobbs, that's who came out here, uh, when I talked to dispatch, they came and they said, uh, he came out here and that he interviewed the twins, Jennifer and Jackie, and that he, they told him that Duke was with an aunt. And I said, okay, so when, by the time he called me back, I asked him who was the aunt. I go, did you get a name? And he said, no. I go, then he didn't get, he, he didn't do anything. Um, he says, well, I got to believe what the parent says. I said, no, you went over there to do, to do a welfare check to see where the six-year-old was at. That's why I called. You know, and then he said that I had no right uh, because uh, um, that uh, I had to come over here and talk to Jackie myself, but that I had no right. I said, no, I'm the grandmother. There's, I tell you to do a welfare check. That's what you're there for. And he goes, oh, you know what? Um, I guess he goes, I go, you, you didn't do your job. So he goes, okay, well, wait a minute. I'll call you back. He didn't call me back. So I called him. I called dispatch. I got in touch with him again. He goes, oh, is this you, Lydia? I said, yes, it is. And I said, so what happened? He goes, oh, they just told me the same thing, that the, that Duke is with the aunt. And I said, did you get a number or did you get a name? Because there's no aunt or number. And he said, no. And I I said, and you didn't do your job, you know, and then he, he told me, you know what, if you don't stop, I'm going to hang up. Uh, and I said, you know what, better yet, let me hang up on your ass because you didn't do your job. I got to do your job for you. And that's when I came out here. I called, got all my kids together, um, all together, you know, there's all together, six girls and two boys and then all their, 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 their siblings and so, I mean, their, their spouses. And we got, I told me, let's, let's load up and we got to go to see, come to Jackie's house. So we came to Jackie's house. I called the police. It took them three hours to get here while we were sitting out here in the, in the dark. And then, um, Jackie, is this is last night. Um, and then I called again and I told me what happened with the police. They told me that they had another emergency. We're out here for three hours already waiting. That's that's 911 out here? Are you kidding me? So when they came, they finally came. Um, where they interviewed everybody. Well, they were interviewing little by little, and I'm letting them know, what, you know what's going on, what that I know. And they put Jackie in the back of the car, which is the mom, and they put Joe um, in the back of the other car. But Joe, I know Joe, my son had nothing to do. He, he's not there you know um so we we're just trying to find out information but nobody was doing anything they weren't looking they didn't put nobody to look they didn't put no, you know like what they, it wasn't like i know this is not uh, a 30 minute show but they weren't doing nothing we were all sitting there we were here to three was it three o'clock in the morning yeah. we we're here to three o'clock in the morning and then nothing got done so and then all i know is they took jackie to the to she's out there in, in um in, at uh, apple valley uh police department and the other jennifer they um i had my my niece 
take her. And then she had to go, so they're interviewing them there. And I just hope to God that they let me see them so I can, I know that I can, those are my daughters. I know that I can get, get the truth out because it's cold. You know, where's Duke? Is he alive or dead? I don't know that. And I pray to God now we have this hope, you know, because I don't know actually the real date that he's missing. I don't know. I don't know that, you know. But I think things would have been happening faster if that police officer, and I called early, that would have took, done what I asked him to do. You know, what, what, we, we, what they're supposed to do. And he didn't do that. No, I don't know if they gave him. I don't know. I, I looked in the backyard. I found a slipper. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not from this area. Um, I don't know if they owed anybody money. I don't know anything. All I know is that the other twin was telling me, Mom, I need to go. I'm having nightmares. Mom, I can't go back to the house. Mom, I said, what, what, what's going on? What's going on? I don't know. I know as much as the next person knows. But those girls, they have to know what's happened to them. And I want to know. I know that I can get, I'm their mom. I know I can get it out of there. You know, they're gonna, this is it. It's over, you know. Tell me where he's at. If they gave him to a friend or to whatever, whatever it is, I don't know. The family's saying that they're not going to allow anybody to see him, but I'm the mom. Let me just see, let me talk. I know that I can, you know, I can break them. Well, no matter what, I can break them. Those are my daughters. You know, I raised them. I was mom and dad. Those are my girls. And I know I can do it. So the last time you saw him, you didn't see any, any, any marks on him? No, like he that? was happy. I took him. We went over here to Walker's. I paid for Joe's medicine. And he was asking me, Grandma, you know, Candy, he's a happy-go-lucky guy, you know, but he, he's a boy, you know. Boys will be boys, you know. He's a happy little, my little white boy, you know. And I wish I would have I wish I would have took him with me, you know. But I, my, I didn't raise my daughters to be, you know. We all, I have 13 grandkids. And, and no, you know, I never would. You see this on the news. Yeah, I know that he has to come home, man. You're six years old.